Good morning. My name is Adam Khan, and this is my half ass channel. Today is January 2nd, 2023, and I'm happy to meet you guys virtually. Um, forgive if the video is a little, um, you know, uh, I don't even know what word I'm looking for, I immature or, or, or not well put together. I kind of rushed to get this out there. Um, since it's the beginning of the year and we're, we're headed to New Year, I thought it was important to, to at least get something on record and, and kind of put it on. Um, I'm guessing most of my posts will gravitate towards markets as well as travel and uh, possibly a little bit of cooking and things like that. Uh, I've been watching markets since I was 12 years old, probably, maybe even eight or nine. Uh, and it's what I love and what I do professionally, so... No, I'm not licensed, so let me give a disclosure real quick. Um, please don't take any advice that I give at all. Um, if you like anything that I say, contact your financial advisor, whoever helps you on those ends. And I'm just a guy posting on, on YouTube or wherever I post it because I like the things I like and I think it might be fun to meet some new people and talk about the things I've learned over the past 30 years. Um, let me start by saying that part of why I wanted to get this on is uh, I, I'm pretty bullish the equity markets. Um, the reason being that there seems to be a lot of nervousness and my overall philosophy is I want to go against the, that bet. And everything I heard and everything I read was let, let's just wait this year a bit before we make any decisions because I'd like to have a little bit more clarity before I, I do anything. Well, as long as everybody else is waiting for a little bit more clarity, I, I think that's the time to, to invest. Um, there may be some pain because like the people who want to wait for some clarity, I, I see all the, the issues they, they have. The Fed's raising rates, I'm concerned about a recession. Uh, I think there's a, a real possibility that the unemployment will get worse than what they think they can control and, and get out of hand and cause some real issues. Um, if the fl inflation doesn't catch itself and they have to continue to raise rates, I see that as a major issue as well. So as much as I see all those things at hand, I think it's already priced in in the, in the equity markets. So I, I do believe it's time to start reversing and, and getting along some of that. Um, if, you, if you like individual picks, I like Foot Locker, I like Cracker Barrel. Um, for risky type of picks, I like Snowflake, and, and uh, I also like um, Shopify. I think they have a good potential for big upsides. Um, and uh, the, but the trade I really like the most is being short the dollar. Um, I bought some yen, and then I added on with some euro currency and some Canadian dollar. Uh, um, and I think the, that trade is going to continue for a long time. What, I, what I've noticed in the currency is these make five, ten year trends. And I think when the British pound actually had their implosion, explosion, however you want to look at it, I, I think that was the, the end of the move of the, of the strong dollar. Um, there'll obviously be ups and downs along the way, but, but I do think that's the end of a long 10, 12 year run. Um, and currencies tend to stay in a range too. So, so I think that's, that's my prediction on, on the one I like the best and the most comfortable with. Uh, that being said, chime in about anything. I, I just, like I said, saying hello, introducing myself and starting from here.